Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a another quick video on OpenSCAD. I've just been uh, I spent my weekend just kind of playing around with some of the new stuff, and I really wanted to show you the customizer. So this is the newest version. It was released in December. That's my bird clock in the background. I'll tell you about that sometime. So this version uh, was released in December 2019. And I have my little uh, piston model that I was working on with some variables set up in the top. And quickly I'll show you, so I have a crank angle that's tied to the timer so that it you know rotates around 360 degrees and that's how I animate this. And then I have some things like the, uh, the size of it. So let me explain uh, how things work. So the first thing you'll see here is uh, this what looks like a you know, which is a comment, but adding these brackets makes this a tab in the customizer So let's look at the crank radius and you'll see it over here It's it's under operation parameters and we can hide that tab and show that tab just like all the others So let's let's hide all the ones we're not using So you see I have crank radius here and this is not going to be a, a, a Conclusive tutorial you'll have to go to the website uh, open SCAD to get each of the different things but for example, I have a range here from 10 to 50, and when the customizer sees a range, it, it adds a, uh, a slider. So you see if I change, you know, if I bring that slider way up, you'll see it, and as soon as you click somewhere else, it redraws the drawing, which I really love that uh, approach. You'll see that it adjusted the position of where my, uh, uh, of where the lobe for my cam is, um, and tried to adjust some of this, but my code, you know, is not, it's not complete, so. And then some other things, I have uh, my explode piston, which is just set is currently set to true. And by setting it to true, it automatically turns this into a checkbox. So you see if I uncheck this, it unexplodes my piston and incorrectly positions my rod, which is my fault. Um, but basically my explode piston true goes to, so I have, um, this is the call to my explode module and I just put the explode piston variable there. So when I get to my explode module, true or false decides whether or not it's an exploder or not. So now I can more interactively deal with it instead of like trying to hunt through the code. Where did I put that variable? You know, that kind of stuff, okay? So that's that. So let's leave it exploded for this because it hides my mistakes. <laughs> and then I have something called, so I have my engine definition. So I'm calling it that. So these are things that define the whole assembly sort of whereas these are the physical parameters of each com each part. Well, let's do the physical parameters first. Let's make the, um, let's do the pin offset lower and that's the position here. So that should should move that down. I don't know if it did or, or it was just trying to catch up or I didn't see it. I don't know, let's do something more obvious. Let's make, let's make our rod a lot shorter. So we'll make that 70 and so that made that rod much shorter, too short. So you see I have to fix my calculations so that it adjusts that center piece. Um, and then you saw crank radius and pin radius makes this bigger or sh or smaller. Let's, let's make it really thin or much thinner. So I'm not sure what determines whether it recalculates or not. Um, so that's something that I'll have to look at. Or maybe I didn't implement the pin thing yet. So um, yeah, so I love I love this. I, this has been a, uh, available as like a module for a while, but now the customizer has made it into the uh, main program. So that's really good. Um, another thing that they've added, which let's see if I can get this, uh, let's do a cylinder, is some code completion. You see it popped up with, uh, with an option for me. Now, as far as I know, this is only for items in, in the main code. I don't know if this will, uh, I don't think it does code completion for uh, modules, but I definitely could be wrong in that. I did see some um, JSON stuff in the documentation, but I have to look into that a little more. So you might be able to add code completion for your own modules too. I'll have to check that. But you see here, it gives you all the different um, ways you can uh, create this the cylinder call. So that's really exciting. Um, maybe the built-in editor will get some syntax. I mean, it has some some highlighting already, but. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, the uh, editor's getting better, better, better. Uh, the, uh, you know, the interface is getting more options. So, you know, I still like OpenSCAD and, you know, although 
Precad is my go-to. Um, you know, there's there's a place for open SCAD. Sorry, <laughs> there's a place for it, and uh, you know, I'll be I, I'll continue to post open SCAD every now and then. Not quite as often as Precad, so sorry about that. But uh, hope you like, and if if you do, make sure you subscribe and uh, click the alarm bell so you get notified when I do update when I do videos. Have a great day.